These are so good and so easy to make. Here's everything you need to make tang hulu. These are skewers and toothpicks. And then I have half a cup of water and one cup of granulated sugar. And I just washed these strawberries. So first, I'm going to thoroughly dry these strawberries. If they're not dry, the sugar coating is not going to adhere. So you just want to make sure that you dry these really well. Now if you want, you can take the stem off. I want to leave it on just for aesthetic purposes. So take your skewer and just put it in so that we won't have to do this later. You just want to make sure that you prepare everything ahead of time so that when the sugar is ready, you won't be rushing. Because you'll only have about two to three minutes before the sugar starts to harden. And for these toothpicks, I'm going to do these blueberries. So I'm using low heat. Add your water. And then the sugar. You only want to stir this just until the sugar is dissolved. Okay, so now my sugar is mostly dissolved, so I'm going to stop stirring. Then I'm going to turn up the heat to about a medium to medium high. And you want it to boil, not too high. I would say about a medium boil. And I will start a stopwatch. So now while that's going, I have this cup of mostly ice and just a little bit of water and also this chopstick, or any wooden stick will work. And we're gonna use this later to do the chopstick test. So it's been about seven and a half minutes, and I'm going to start the chopstick test. So all you do is just dip in your chopstick, put it in the ice water. I can already see that it's too soft and still sticky, so it needs more time. Now we're at about nine minutes, and I'm going to try again. So dip your chopstick, Put it in the ice water and you're going to chew this or actually I can already see with my fingers that it's too soft so we'll just let it go for a bit longer. Okay now we're at 10 minutes. Take your chopstick, put it in the water. Looks like it's still pretty soft and you want to make sure that you never leave the stove because this can burn really quickly. So just make sure you watch it closely. We're at about 15 minutes. Take your chopstick, put it in the water. So it looks like it's ready, but what you're gonna do is put it in your mouth and chew it. And um, it looks like it's still chewy, so we're gonna let it go a little bit longer. And as you can see by the colors, it's getting a little bit more amber brown. That means it's almost ready. All right, now we're at 16 and a half minutes. And you wanna check more often when it's almost ready. It had a slight crunch, but I would let it go for just a bit longer. Okay, so let's try 17 minutes. And you're just gonna chew this. Still just a little bit soft. I'm gonna let it go for another half, 30 seconds. Okay, so 17 and a half minutes. Put it in your mouth and chew it. It's pretty crunchy, so I'm going to turn the heat off and then start blazing it. So at this point, you wanna work really quickly because you only have about two to three minutes before this starts to harden again. So dip it really quickly and then just drain, drain off the excess. And I'm just gonna put this on the plate. So again, just dip it really quickly, twist, and then let the extra fall off. And remember, you'll only have about two to three minutes before it starts to kind of get gooey again. Also, you want to be very careful because this will burn you. It's very, very hot. So 
So don't let it dip too long, just kind of let it in there for about a second. And then just shake off the excess. And it doesn't cook the strawberry. I would say it kind of makes it slightly soft and it kind of changes the outside texture, but it's really good when it's just like a tiny, tiny bit warm. But it is still cold inside, so it tastes really good. Great, now for the blueberries. So I'm just gonna let this set for a couple minutes, but it hardens almost immediately, as you can see. Okay, so I get this question so often about how to clean your pot. All you do is add some hot water to the pot. And then I'm gonna turn the stove back on to about a low heat. So as you can see, my sugar is already starting to come off really easily. I'm gonna take this excess and just throw it out. And then continue cooking the rest. Now I'm just gonna bring it to boil. And I'm just scraping off that excess sugar. Or what you can do is just add some hot water, cover it, and let it sit for about half an hour, and then everything should just come right off if you don't want to do this. Okay, so my pot is mostly clean, so now I can just wash it. And here we go. Good as new. So I didn't use anything for this plate. It's just normal plate. I didn't grease it. It just comes right off. You just got to be a little bit careful. Take the skewer out. So I'm going to show you just how crunchy these are. Last one. And that's how easy it is to make these shabby tom hulu. So comment with any questions and thank you.